please get your cameras ready. Get your cameras ready. There is a, a landmark that you need to know. I go. Uh, there is much noise in the bus, that is why. This is a very important information. Uh, just straight ahead of us coming, there is a symbol. Uh, there is a symbol of Ghana. And then underneath, we have freedom and justice. That is our motto. And then we have AD 1957. That is the year Ghana we had independence. The black star on top of it is the Logoster of Africa Freedom that was introduced by Marcus Gabi Black Star Line. We'll, we'll be going around. In the middle of the act, it is only the president that passes through. It is only the president that is allowed to drive through that place. Now, coming up on your right is the Independence Square or the Black Star Square. It's the second largest open square in the world. The first one is the Tiananmen Square of China. That's a square in 1998. President Bill Clinton at that time was the only live sitting president that have ever visited Ghana. He was hosted here. And a lot and a lot of people, even people from outside Ghana, came to have a glimpse of President Bill Clinton. He is a very good friend to Ghana. We also celebrate our independence anniversary there. This is the national place where we celebrate our independence anniversary each year on 6th of March. Soldiers, the security services, um, cadres, students, march past the base. Now take a look at the base, the act over there. On top of it, you see Black Star Square. The act itself is known as Fat Years Handbag. Fat Years Handbag. Fatia was the wife of our president, President Kwame Nkrumah. She has a certain special handbag, a lady's bag, that she goes out with. So the, uh, the architect looked at that bag and designed the act in that way. That is why it's known as Fatia's handbag. The square also play host to churches and uh, other organizations, musicians who want to, want to have a concert and other uh, program. Just on our immediate right, just on our immediate right, um, is VAC. VAG Square, we call it VAG Square. VAG is for um, uh, soldiers who fought alongside the British or lost their lives during the First, Second World War. In every country, uh, there is something, a symbol uh, uh, or a statue meant for that in every country. Uh, we went to Fiji and I saw, so I said, wow, I never knew you also have this on here. The soldiers is a symbol for the soldiers who fought uh, uh, during the second world, first and second world war. Mm 